Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the seventh video on PyATS. Here we'll see how to send configuration to Cisco device using PyATS library. We have multiple methods to send configuration to Cisco device from PyATS. One is sending this in a plain CLA command format or we can send it using Genie configuration object. Genie is having intelligence to identify each configuration object for example here if you want to configure interface ip we can just give it in interface.ipv4 and if you want to enable the interface we can give shutdown false and based on these objects this will frame the command and send to the device we will see these two options now so first we'll start with device.configure method so i'll go to pycharm and we'll create a new python file zero three underscore configure device and we can copy till device connect and here we will even see the pre and post configuration changes we will try to learn both cases before and after configuring routes and i will remove this log std out we will see even the log in terminal once we learn connect to the device i will give device dot configure and we can add the configuration here IP route we will add 2 gigabit 1 and for making the config changes we will verify the route So now we have 10, 20 and 30 in, in the routing table. So we will try adding 100 and we will separate this with the slash n. Either you can send this as a multi-line string here. Three quotes means it is multi-line string or you can even send it separated using slash n. and before sending we will try to learn the routing table i will call this prelearn equal to the device dot learn and we will try learning static route so we have seen that earlier like from the models seen how to learn the static routes and what is the format we are getting after configuring this also we will try learning it so i can just copy paste the same line i will call this post learn and to get the data in a json format We will try to print prelearn dot two underscore dictionary. In the previous video, we have seen this option. Here, I'll give post learn dot dictionary, and we'll do one print here. Prelearn routes and 
and now we have only three routes we'll try running this script this is a very simple use case so so here there is an error in the learn we need to give static routing not route so it stopped here so we can run the script again and you can verify the model name here as well it is static routing Okay, now we can see the output and if you compare these two outputs in the new learned routes we have 100 and 101 added and in the above output we doesn't have that if you do a comparison using diff module you should be able to see the complete difference and in the next video we'll see how to do the configuration difference and now we'll see how to use genie configuration objects this method so for that i'll create a new python file Zero four underscore we can copy paste till the device connect and here we are going to use the interface object so we need to import that as well from genie.conf.base we need to import interface so after connecting to the device we need to define the interface object so i will we can call any name here csr interface and we can call device so device name is dev comma and name equal to so now this is having 22.2 ip I'll copy this interface, put it here and now if we try to print type of CSR interface and DIR of the methods of CSR interface. So this is genie configuration interface for ios xe so this is an object and you can see the supported methods here you should be able to see many configuration options and if you want to set the ip we need to give ipv4 And if you want to see the models of that you can go to this documentation and 
here in interface model you should be able to see the structure of this and in the left side you should be able to see for enable if you give enable true this will execute no shutdown and if you want to set the MTU you need to give it in integer format all these things you can refer from each models documentation here now we will change the IP address so now to change the IP CSR interface dot you can give IPv4 equal to this time I'll give 22.3.3.3 and same way CS interface dot IPv4 dot net mask and that I'll give And if you check the type of this object, print type of CSR interface IPv4, and we'll try printing even the DIR. This will be an IP address object. So this is an IP address object and this supports all the IP address related operations. So below you can see. Earlier even I have created a couple of videos on IP address module. You can have a look into that as well. I will add that also in the description. Now same way if you want to enable the interface csr interface dot enable equal to true and i can comment all this and we'll try printing csr interface dot build config and I'll give apply equal to false So here we can see the configuration but this has not applied the config to the device so still it is 22.2 .2. and if I give false here this will add shutdown to the interface and for this CSR interface enable so for apply I'll give true now if we try running this this will apply this configuration to the device let us verify the config now so now IP has changed. So this is able to apply the configuration using Genie configuration objects. So in the same way you can go through all these other configuration objects and configure the device. I hope this video was helpful for you to get basic understanding on how to send configuration to Cisco device using PyATS. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.